Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jaime. Hello, Jaime. Hi, Maria. Good hello. evening. Good evening. Good evening, Valeria. Hello, Zulma. Hi, Jimena. Hi, Becky. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening um, Marairi. Good evening, Good evening, Karen. Welcome, guys. I would like for us to get started with uh, the first activity for today's class. I would like for us to look at this activity right here that I'm going to show you. We're working from Knowledge Check 2.4. Let me have one volunteer who can give me the answer for number two. What's this? What's this? It's a CD player. It's a CD player, correct. Number three, what? What are these? What are these? They are backpacks. Very good. Number four, what's this? It's a watch. It's a watch. Number five, what? Mm. It's the cell phone. What's what's this? What is this? this? And number six, what are these? They are sunglasses. They are sunglasses. Very good. So for the first one, number one is uh, number two is it's repeat please. It's a CD player. It's a CD player. What are these? A CD player. What are these? What are they? They are backpacks. They are backpacks. What's this? What is this? this? It's a watch. It's a watch. watch. What is this? What, what is, is this? It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. A cell phone. A cell phone. What are these? What are these? They are sunglasses. They are sunglasses. Okay. Does anybody have any questions referring to that vocabulary in the section, in that exam? Okay, let's look at no. two point five. By the end of this class, you will be able, you will learn how to form yes, no, and where questions with the be verb. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formar preguntas interrogativas con respuestas sí y no, preguntas interrogativas con el verbo ser o estar. 2.6, yes, no, and where questions with the beaver. Let's get it started. Everybody listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. <sighs> Excuse me. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this 
or in this case could be these plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be in this case happens to be is and then we're going to use this the complement in this case is your wallet and then of course we put a question mark there um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys uh, we have a verb to be these your keys and of course we put a question mark at the end let me give a couple of more examples is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things. In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with yes, it is, no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are, no, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right? We can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? All right, so what I would like for us to do is I want us to look at some examples with the WH questions with the B verb, okay? For example, who? Who is your favorite soccer player? For example, who is your favorite soccer player? Who is, who is your teacher? Who is your favorite singer? Okay, this is talking about people. And what, we say what, is your favorite color, for example, or when, when is your birthday? Um, when is your father's birthday or 
when is your anniversary? Okay. Or we say where. Where is your favorite place? And then how, how do you say ombligo in English? How do you say pleco in English? How is your mom doing? Como esta tu mamá? All right. Why? Why do you study English? Why do you exercise? Why do you work? Okay. So these are just some examples of the questions that I would like for us to do. This is like a conversation. I'm going to share with, uh, with everybody the questions here in the chat. It, somebody please send the questions to the WhatsApp group and we're going to answer the questions right now. I would like one volunteer ask Mr. Santos the questions. One volunteer ask Mr. Santos the questions and the I am going to respond to the questions. One volunteer ask, okay, Angie raised your hand. Angie, please ask me the questions and I am going to respond to the questions. Let me uh, make the uh, All of them. We're going to start with the first one. This is going to be the first one. Yeah. Who is your favorite uh, soccer player? When is your, uh, when is your birthday? Uh, no, we're going to start with who is your favorite soccer player? Number one. Okay. Uh, who is your favorite soccer player? Hold on. Let me make the let me make the letters a little bigger for everybody, so you can see better. Um, who is my favorite soccer player? My favorite soccer player is. Ronaldo. Number two. Who is your teacher? My teacher is Mr. King. Number three. Who is your favorite? Uh, who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Bruno Mars. The next one. What is your, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Me too. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. 
Ya pasó. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on August 26th. Okay. When is your anniversary? Anniversary. Anniversary. Uh, I'm going to say my when anniversary. Anniversary. I'm going to say my anniversary living in El Salvador. My anniversary is on September twentieth. Esa fecha llegué al país. September, September. Where is your favorite place? Uh, my favorite place is El Tunco Beach. My favorite Tunco Beach. place is El Tunco Beach. Okay. The next one. How do you say it? Ombligo. You say belly button. <laughs> How do you say fleco? You say bangs. How is your mom doing? She is doing good. Why do you study English? I study English because I want a well-paid job. Well-paid job. Okay. Well-paid job. Do you exercise? I exercise because because I want a gym body. Why do you work? I work because I like to feel productive and useful in society. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to share with you the sentences and the responses and I would like for you to practice. Uh, somebody please uh, share in the in the WhatsApp group share the questions and the responses. Now, this is only an example, guys. Obviously, you can modify the questions uh, however you want. You can modify the response however you want. This is only an example. Do you understand? Does anybody have any questions about the vocabulary in the questions? No. Okay, we're going to practice in pairs. First, one student will ask the question and the other student will respond and vice versa. At least five times. Practice at least five times. Hi, Tanya. Ahorita la ubico. La voy a la poner teacher. con Diego y Valeria en el 2. Bye. 
estamos practicando las preguntas que compartimos en el WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. What Gracias. Year? All right. My teacher is Mer Celada. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Armin by Beauty. Okay. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. When is your birthday? My birthday is on March 5. When is your father's birthday? I don't know. Okay. When is your anniversary? ¿Eso qué significa? Pues, ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo es tu aniversario? Es tu aniversario. El, por ejemplo, el teacher creo que él puso que cuando él había venido al país. Ajá. That's right. Ese es mi aniversario, September 20th. Esa fecha Ajá. llegué yo a El Salvador. Y lo primero que Pero hice para fue esa... comerme Ajá. cinco cocos. Jamás me había comido un coco real. Teacher, y eso aniversario es como alguna, algo especial, una celebración especial de algo. Ajá. Sí, sí, puede ser, digamos, tu aniversario de de cuando empezaste a trabajar, tu aniversario con tu esposo, tu aniversario con eh, de que estás celebrando una fecha importante, o sea. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, ok, entonces, never. What is your favorite place? Puedes ocupar cuando iniciaste uh, la clase de inglés, un aniversario. Uh, Ajá. Bueno, sí va. Esta conversación es del, del siguiente que vamos ya. Sí, es del... del, del... Pero ese ombligo, ¿qué significa? <risa> Eso sí, no te... <risa> Bien raro, espérame, tal vez me da chance de buscarlo aquí. How do you say ombligo? Quiere decir, ¿cómo se dice ombligo? How do you say fleco? Quiere decir, ¿cómo se dice fleco? You say back. How is your mom doing? She is doing. She is go going good. What? My favorite soccer player is um, Messi. No, sorry. Messi. My favorite movie is. Ay, no sé cómo se dice. Bueno, Enchanted, algo así, encantada. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ya. Yeah, I don't know what is the pronunciation. Ok, um, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is mm, sleeping. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Yeto, yeto, yeto. What's your question? What's your question? Yes. In the, in, in the, career, why do you study English? No, no, sorry. Why do you exercise? No, is the correct is, why do you do exercise? Uh, no, 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 no. You can use both. You can say, why do you do exercise? Ah. Why do you exercise? Mm -hmm. ah, you can say, you. you can say it both ways. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm. And... Si quiere, sigamos practicando las preguntas. I want... Okay, uh, why do you exercise? I don't have exercise. I don't have practice exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> uh, why do you work? I don't have a job. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Hey, what's your question? Eh, ¿Cómo se dicen los números ordinales en inglés? Nosotros los hemos dicho como 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, no, se eso sería first, first, sería okay. primero, first, second, segundo, third, tercero, fourth, Cuarto, fifth, quinto, sixth, sexto, seventh, séptimo, eighth, octavo. O sea, se le agrega la TH. Okay, gracias, se le agrega la TH al número. Uh -huh. Siempre que vamos a hablar de fechas, eh, se va a decir en números ordinales, ¿verdad? That's correct, yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, see you later. De ahí la respuesta dice, do you say? 